Because under this water. Water. My friends do it a lot. Like oh, sp speak of the devil. I Top of the morning, friends and family. Obviously, I'm not gonna go flying over the chair today. We got precious cargo, and it's a birthday girl. It's a birthday girl. It's a birthday birthday girl. Hi, huh, boys. What you got hanging out your nose? You crazy? Hmm. You got Ted hanging out your nose? Ted. So today is Noah and Leia's birthday party. It's not their actual birthday. There, it was a few days ago, but today's when we get everybody together for the party. Lala. Oh, hi, mommies. Hi. You want to see the babies? Oh, you want to see the babies? Well, we're going to show the babies in just a second. Hi, sorry, did my room thing? Yeah, we're having daddy-daughter time. You come in here and crush us. Those are big babies. So anyway, we, uh, I came in here this morning to uh, do my usual snake room check and uh, there were a couple of heads popping out of the old clutch we had sitting over there. And this was the clutch that I produced with the intention of being able to get snakes that don't cost too much into people's hands that really wanted a triple B snake but didn't really necessarily have, you know, I, I tend to produce a little higher end stuff, um, you know, not way high end stuff, but a little, little pricier end, I suppose. These are not that. It's uh, the pairing was Bullwinkle to. If if you guys watch the channel, then you remember when I pulled the clutch. It was actually the first clutch that Noah's ever pulled. It was Bullwinkle, who's a super pastel lesser, to Bernice, who is a super fire. So the entire clutch is going to be at least fireflies and possibly firefly lessers. And from the head poking out there, I see there's at least one firefly lesser. So if you guys are going to be interested in any of these babies, make sure you uh, comment down below or get a hold of me on Instagram, Facebook. I got the most perfect picture I've ever seen of an egg tooth. Of, you actually see it just shining like a diamond right in the front of the snake's mouth. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that. So yeah, just get a hold of me if you want to be put on the list for those snakes because I'm sure they're not going to be around here very long. So and once they crawl out of the egg and everything. <laughs> once, can I have my tables back? Oh, okay. Thanks. No, she's not going to get mad. She's hanging with her daddy dad. Yeah, but she doesn't have mommy time a lot. Oh, oh, don't be. Oh, why? You don't want to hang out with your daddy guy? Just a little snack. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. No, no, I concede. I concede to the... I concede. So, anyway. I'll do an update again on those babies when uh, they are completely out of the egg and we'll get some nice pictures up there so you guys can, can see the beauty of the Firefly Leshers. Bullwinkle is the most beautiful super pastel lesher I've ever seen in my life. He's just... You've seen him as an adult and he's just beautiful. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous snake. So I was really happy for him to finally pass on his genetics. It's his first clutch, and actually the, both of the snakes, it's their first clutch, the male and the female. But we're having uh, Noah and Leah's birthday party today, and uh, yeah, party, birthday party. And I'd like to invite you guys to come along. Did you guys know that Noah and Leah have the same birthday? How, how random is that? So it's supposed to not be raining at this point. According to my little weather app on my phone, it's no longer raining but it's still raining and we're supposed to have this party out here in the park and to be fair it's starting to lighten up a little bit hillary said to be prepared to uh take the party back to the house but it looks like she's out there setting stuff up so and i know it looks like there's a cover out there like we're covered on that, that little awning but you know what that thing's actually mesh, it's like a shade thing, so water comes right through there. But there she is, setting stuff on the tables. <sighs> you know, I'm gonna sit in here for a little while. Why don't we show you guys what we did yesterday before it started raining. Can me and Eli, can I go outside and dig for some bugs that m might be on the ground? We got the pencil bugs. It's about getting to that time of year when we're going to be hunting for bugs and stuff underneath logs. And I placed a couple of these boards throughout the property so that we can hopefully harvest a, uh, a new crop of creatures that would like to hide under something nice and flat. We'll see what happens. We'll have to, we'll have to take it out and see what happens. Daddy, can nope. we help with this? Don't lift up the logs. Yes, yes. Oh! Mm, I don't see anything. What was that? <gasps> Grandpa! 
Oh, hey, you boys have to help me get something out. You've got so many things here. Oh, oh, hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi, boss. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. You look way bigger. Yes. Let me see, I gotta look at you. Yeah. Let's see what it is. Let's see. Yeah, you're a six-year-old guy. We found a centipede. I got a snail. Ew. You can't see. A snail. It's so dark. It's a dark snail. That's a creepy. Eli, you got something in your pants that you want to tell us about? That's so good. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go look under the big lock. Come on, Chasey. No, it's too heavy for you. In the summertime, we'll probably find stuff again. We found like alligator lizards under this log. And... My friends do it a lot. Like, oh, sp speak of the devil! I said alligator lizard, and there it is. Oh, you got one? Yep. Alligator lizard. How's that timing? Tell them. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You, you might on. bite, so don't be scared if he does. It won't hurt that bad. Okay. Wants to be on your hand, so it's warm. Don't bite me, little lizard. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. They have this this power to release stinky <laughs> chemicals. Yeah, yeah. Stinky chemicals. Oh, yeah, this He pooped. <laughs> he pooped. <laughs> he pooped. <laughs> oh, that's Was someone, uh, behind Hey, Noah. What? Hey Noah. What? What do you know? I need to go wash my hair though. <laughs> Where is it? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ewie. Oh, it's just a little bit of snail poop. Ew. <laughs> hey Eli. So we're, we're just gonna do this in the rain then? It's gonna be done soon. It's gonna be done soon. It's on its way out. It's on its way out. Mm -hmm. Okay. No party would be complete without drinks, right? Uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with all that, sir? <laughs> with all that junk in my trunk? <laughs> Rain stop. Party started. <laughs> Hey, you like? What? What do you know? I know. Candy. What about candy? That's not good for you. And not even good for you. Um, well, squishy slime or squishy. Poop or squishy or squishy swamp. That's what I know. <laughs> Now that you're six years old, what's different? I get so I'm older. 
<laughs> Any major changes? <laughs> Nothing? No major changes? Just yeah, just really another year older? Damn yeah. I told them, I mean, you totally relax. I mean, live. Do you think you do you think you do you feel smarter? Yeah. Like, just gonna feel like oh, that's good. That's progress. Oh. You having fun, bud? Super fun. I can so what were you doing in the zoo with the bat? Um, taking out the flamingos. How you doing, Tay? How's it feel to be one years old, huh? Yeah. Oh boy, oh, oh, it was tough. Hello. Grandma would, did not want to wake her up. Happy birthday to you. Did she just wake up? Yeah, she just woke up from a nap. Party girl wasn't at the party. But she's here now. She's here now, my Tay. What you want to do? You want to excavate some dinosaurs? You want to smash some piñata? Can you have kiss kiss? Um, uh, thank you, Tay. Three times. Yay! No need. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man. That's what it was. Man. That's the song for me. Hitting the pinata is my favorite part of any birthday party. I'd say that was successful. The sun came out beautiful. It actually stopped raining like the second the party was supposed to start, so that was perfect. I wanted you guys to get another look here at mom and pop of the clutch. There they are, Bullwinkle. And she actually went right back on food right after uh, having that clutch. So, and she's in shed right now, of course, because, right, right? The rule holds true. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed your time with us today and um, have yourselves a great time, whatever you're doing. <laughs>